Hey everybody, Ann here. Yeah, duh, in the tiny house. Coffee. I don't have a fire going. It's like 40, oh, I don't know, 41 degrees in here. Um, but I don't really feel all that cold. You can see my breath, but um, so yeah, I gotta I just gotta get going. I gotta do me some chicken chores. First thing I gotta do is grab my water that I've taken from a tank inside because all other water is frozen so that my chickens can have some nice water to drink. I always hit the Easter egg or pan first and since I'm out of chicken feed, I'm just gonna give them a nice treat of oats and sunflower seeds. They love it. Good morning, beautiful chickens. Like I said before, that Easter egg or yard is gonna be deconstructed. I'm gonna reuse the materials somewhere else and um, that pen is going to be used for, I think, like maybe a grow-out pen. I'm not sure. I may end up moving it closer to the tiny house. Um, I'm going to have to have some help for that. But anyhow, the next yard is always the roosters. Good morning, gentlemen. You seem to be getting along just fine. Don't peck me. Don't peck me. Please don't peck me. Oh, my gosh. Come on, roosters. Don't peck me. There you go, you beautiful boys. See, now, Fabi, Fabio is a good rooster. I think he'd be good with hens um, because he's always tidbitting the other roosters. Yeah, they get the same snack this morning. The next yard is Mama's pen. Look at this. Yeah, something came in here <laughs> and couldn't get out, so I get to fix this this morning. Done. <laughs> but let's see how long it lasts. Okay, Mama and Patsy, you're next. I do let this drape come down overnight just for a little bit of extra warmth. They still have plenty of ventilation. I just kind of tuck it up there like that during the day. Ooh. Come out, girls. Come out, come out. Oh, you spilled your water. That's okay. I got more. And they get the same treat as well. And then I come over and open this up. Kind of pin this off to the side. Kind of like that. And open this up. And the chickens just love coming in and out of here all day long. Anybody leave me an egg yet? Nope. Nope. Good morning, Patsy. I let these out a few minutes before the other chickens because I want them to get a little bit of grub before the others just totally shoo them away from it. And last but definitely not least, the free rangers. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I try and scatter some food out here and up my drive to spread it out a little bit. But yep, yeah, they all get some oats and some sunflower seeds today too. Change the plans with the Easter eggers. I am going to keep the hens. Yes, I got to thinking and I thought, oh, I'd already promised them to Lena, um, but really she was just helping me um, with a tough situation. But somebody made a comment, I think it was Lori down in the comment section, uh, why don't you just eat the roosters or make dinner out of them? Or I think she said, have a nice dinner and give the hens to Romeo or something similar. And I thought about it, and you know what, that is, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. I need to keep these hens because I'm going to get more hens anyhow, and I've already got four grown hens. Um, but Miss Lena is still going to come over. She's going to pick up at least one rooster, and if I can convince her to take more, maybe. I have made an executive decision about the Easter Hagers. Yep, I have let the girls out. Some are free-ranging, some are not. They'll uh, find it easier once I take this yard down that has been largely taken down already. But I have taken them out, and I'm going to let them free range, and I imagine they'll just go back up into their coop. At night, I'm going to remove that. Um, and Torch is no longer in there because, because Torch is in that there pan. I've got the doors closed. He's none too happy, but he's got food in there. He's got water. Oh, look at this little fella. This puppy is the sweetest puppy. If I had more room, I would adopt this puppy too. I think they named him Midnight, but he is over here the most. And he is just, I try and yell at him and tell him to go home. And then I try and say it in a mean voice. 
but it's so hard because this dog is just so friendly. He's always up underneath me when I'm trying to do stuff. So yeah, I'm dismantling the, the Easter acre yard right now as we speak because what's happening is when they take the fence down, they get caught up in this and it's really bad. Uh, I saw this little one have that happen <laughs> to him. Look at you, uh, earlier today. And it was kind of, it freaked him out, so I can understand how this, this netting can be bad <laughs> for n unintended purposes. What, you want to chew on that? <laughs> you can't get it out of the netting. Oh my gosh, this dog is just so sweet. All of the fencing has been taken down, and these beautiful ladies are free. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this is because Torch is tearing up two of these hens. Junior, no. And um, uh, that was likely to continue. Uh, if I incorporate all of them into Romeo's flock, they're not going to get as much of a beating. You know what I mean? And um, so they're out free. This has all been taken down. I just need to get rid of this netting here. Um, the posts are still in. <laughs> remember, remember the fun I had pounding these posts. Hey, look who's here. Lena from Red Road Homestead. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she came to pick up, well, she was going to come and pick up the Easter eggers and torch. But I started thinking about the Easter eggers and I decided, you know what, I just want to keep them. But guess what? She's still taking torch. Yep. That's awesome. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to put him with... The other five hens and he'll have his own flock in the back. Oh, awesome. Now, did they have another rooster before? Um, they had a little tiny fancy, I forget what it's called. The ones with the little feet, the furry feet? The little puffball, yeah. Feathered feet and a puffball. But that one doesn't <laughs> take care of the other hens. Uh, well, this one will. This one will. And here he is. We got him. And tell him... <laughs> Oh my gosh, hello Fabio. Tell him how good I did with catching that rooster. <laughs> and just put her hand right in and got Torch's legs and out he came. Yep. <laughs> she did perfect. I don't like to like hold him upside down because I know it's harder for them to breathe, but they submit, they totally submit. He wasn't upside down for very long, so I just held him and then Lena got his wing and clipped his wings because the Koopies go on in or the run doesn't have a top, right? Right, don't have a top. Okay. And he was a good boy for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that is awesome. Anyhow, I, I really appreciate you taking no him. No problem. Yeah. I was really, really worried about what roosting time was going to be like tonight, you know, with him penned in that coop and trying to get the other roosters in there. So that's awesome. Okay, so I want to show you a Christmas present that Miss Lena sent me, or brought me. Check this out, you guys. Looky. Do you know what it is? What is it? Homemade vanilla. How did you make it? It's made with vodka and vanilla beans. Don't drink it. Mm. <laughs> no. And it has to wait for at least three months. You keep it in a dark place, shake it every now and then. And in three months, it's ready to use. Or if you wait till 18 months, it's really fabulous. Okay, so when is the earliest I could use it? What month? Three months. So I made it in December, around Christmas. So I would say January, February. Like the 1st of April. Yeah, 1st of April. 1st of April. Okay. If, if I open it and close it um, and, like, just test it, 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 will it still be okay? To like, I would wait till three months for you to try to open it. Okay. And then after I open it, do I have to refrigerate it? Ah, because no. it's got all that vodka in it. No. No oh, refrigeration my lasts through three to five years. Thank you so much. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So are you going to try and sell this stuff? Yep. In, my, in the open air uh, market in Savannah this summer. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, this is going to be delicious. I'm so tempted just to try it right now, but I won't. I won't. I won't. Just put it in a cool, dark place and leave it. I shall. But anyhow, I think that this is going to restore peace to my homestead. I've just got three more roosters left, you guys. Three more roosters. So anybody who wants some roosters, 
Um, there's a couple fat, juicy looking ones, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, not I can't do that. I know. Now, I did last year, I did do the meat chickens. Did you? Yeah, you have to because they'll just, they'll die anyway if you don't. Yeah. So. Well, but it is an option for roosters that you don't have to right, with. Right, right. But the thing is, is once I, I, I give them a name, you know, and I've bonded with them and I've been watching them and showing them on video, I can't. I can't eat them. I know. It's just like my bunnies. I got ten baby bunnies right now. What are you going to do with baby bunnies? My son goes, he says... We'll eat them. And I said, no, I will sell them. They're too cute. I know they're meat rabbits. <laughs> I know they're meat rabbits. But... I, would, I would totally eat a rabbit. I would totally eat a chicken or a rooster. But I don't think... I know some people who can teach me how to harvest them. But I don't think that I can kill them. I can do chickens because I grew up with my grandma. So I can do chickens. But it's like I told my son. I said, I can't... The rabbit, they look at you with those beady eyes and, I don't know. and they're white and they're so oh i can't i do just it. don't even want to think about that at all i can't do it <laughs> I, I mean i've watched some things that show how to do it and i don't even want to talk about how to do right. it because it's gross but you know what um i think i need to rise above at some point because you know i mean i can't raise roosters for nothing anyhow Thank you, Lena. Thank You're you welcome. so much. You're helping me more than you know. You have no idea. <sighs> I still got stuff to do. Collected wood, hauled water, gathered leaves for the bulk material, chainsawed some more wood, and I had to haul it into the house, stack it up, and do all that kind of stuff. And I did it all by myself. <laughs> and I am tired. So that is it. That's it for me for today. I'm just going to rest and watch my beautiful chickens. And because it's going to start raining tonight. And it's going to be raining solid for the next two to three days. And we might get some snow at the tail end of it. So I'm glad I got it done. <sighs> Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.